HTTP login or remote login in Nginx web server as a Docker container. That's all we're going to see in this video. If you want to learn more, stick with me. Hello, what's up guys, medium guy here and in this video we're going to see how to configure Nginx to send the request logs that it receives to remote servers. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So in a total overview, as always, we've got a client over here which is creating the API call which initially will be received by our API gateway which in our case in this video will be Nginx web server but in this picture it is the Kong API gateway so if you want to know how to enable HTTP logs plugin in Kong API gateway I've got the video on my channel and you can find the link for that in the description section down below so the API gateway being the Nginx in this video will try to initially send the request data to a log service listening on network level and also maybe proxy passing the request to an upstream server after the request is processed and the response is created it will be routed back to the client so the remote log service that is listening on another server in another place in the network level reachable by this api gateway will be able to log all the requests that are passed through the API gateway over here. So going to the codes over here, as you can see in the Nginx directory of my GitHub repository where I'll put the link down below. So in the HTTP logs directory over here, I've got a docker compose file, nginx.conf file and an index.js file which will act as our log server. So over here in the docker compose file I've got only one service which is the Nginx itself using the Nginx's official image and in the volume section only one volume mounted to it which is the nginx.conf file which we'll see shortly to the slash etc nginx nginx.com file inside the container which is the default file that the nginx will try to configure itself and in the port section i've got only one port mapped inside the container which is the 9999 to the exact same port inside the container and actually this is the port that I'll configure Nginx to listen on and because it is mapped to the outside container I'll be able to reach the Nginx service inside the container from outside network. So moving to the nginx.conf file over here as you can see I've got an HTTP block a server block inside it listening on port 9999 and I've got only one location which is slash and it is a proxy passed to my laptop's IP and in a random port. So basically if I go to this IPN port, it is an echo server which will actually try to echo whatever request that it receives. So if you want to create an echo server for yourself, in my GitHub repository in the echo server directory, there is a docker compose file and only by saying docker compose opt d in this directory you'll be able to create an echo server just remember by changing this port over here you'll be able to define the port that the echo server will be reachable so going back to the configuration in order to test my setup over here i'll go to the terminal hit ls i'll make sure i'm in the exact same directory and only by saying docker compose up d as i can see in the results a network has been created also a container has been created attaching to this network so by saying docker compose logs dash f i'll be able to watch to the logs of the container that will be outputted to the standard output also if you wanted to learn about the nginx's logging I've got a video in which I've tried to describe all about loggings in Nginx environments. So right now if I go to my 
laptops IP on port 9999. I should be able to see exactly the same response that I got from the echo server directly. So right now the proxy pass configuration is working correctly. And if I go to the configuration file, I've got an index.js file in the node express directory located exactly in the same directory where the docker compose file and nginx.com file exists so in this very basic node application i've got express installed and i've got two handlers for slash path over here one handling the get request and the other handling the post request and both will just simply console log the request body and header to the output and over here the server will try to listen on port 3000 defined over here if i cd into nginx http log node express hit ls if i say node index.js the server is listening on port 3000 so going back to the nginx.com file over here in the slash location over here I'll put two instructions over here so the mirror module inside Nginx will try to mirror the request that is received by Nginx to another path that we can define right over here also by saying mirror the request body configuration setting it to on value the mirror module will also try to send the body data received by nginx so the mirror module is mirroring the request that is received in this location over here to the slash mirror so the thing that i should do is declare another location which will exactly be the slash mirror path and also it will be set to internal because this will only be reachable by nginx itself and not by the people from the outside network so right now if i save the file i should expect the request to be mirrored one being proxy to the upstream server and one being proxy to the slash mirror which will also proxy pass to my laptop but on port 3000 which is the node server that we just run over here so if i go to the terminal i'll hit ctrl c i'll restart the container by saying docker compose down and docker compose up dash t again and also if i try to listen to the logs i'll go to the browser and hit refresh over here to make another request and in the logs output of nginx container over here i see that the request is received by nginx also if i go to the vs code where we run the node server in here as you can see the body data is empty because we didn't pass anything in the body section for the request but the headers are successfully received by the node server also in order to test the body data that will be received by this node server i'll try to copy this curl command over here and going to the terminal i'll try to create another terminal i'll zoom in so you guys can see this and if i paste it over here as you can see it is sending a request to localhost port 9999 which is the port nginx listening on with a header of content type set to application json and another custom header with some random key values and by dash d switch we'll be able to pass in some json as the body of the request that will be sent so if i hit enter i receive the response from the echo server over here which is proxied through the nginx server so again if i go to vs code and check the logs over here i can see that the body data that i passed to the request in the curl is also successfully received by the node server also as the last point i wanted to show you guys and girls how to set custom headers for the request that will be sent to slash mirror proxy pass so by using the set instruction 
I can define a variable in Nginx configuration files. So the variable name will be log and the value will be all this long thing over here, which is also using the Nginx's predefined variables. So I've got a link over here that lists all the variables predefined by Nginx itself and each having its own unique values with the description over here. So you can set this accordingly to your use case to the log variable over here, which will be sent as a header to the log server that in this case is the Node.js server. So basically I've set the timestamp, the body data that is sent, the HTTP host, remote address and things like that, the request status and all other variables and the next instruction I've used the proxy set header instruction and set the log header with the value of dollar $log variable that I defined over here. So by doing this you can change and customize the headers that are sent to your log server. So I'll hit save, hit control C over here, try to restart the container and if I go to the browser try to create another request and right now if I check the logs in the headers section you can see there is a log header with the value that I just set over here. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new in this one. If you have any questions, any recommendations, I'll be checking the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to watch other videos on this playlist where I've described about the other cool features of Nginx Web Server. I'll put all the links, including my GitHub repository, where you'll find all these files that we created in this video and also the links for the Kong API gateway with HTTP log plugin enabled and all other links in the description section down below. So lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe and with that, I hope to see you in the next videos.